Hey guys, this is Josh. I'm out with Sidon. He's on a break. We're going around the neighborhood off leash. This is a fun time to do the training because the dog, you know, Sidon knows enough where I can start getting some off leash freedom. So what we're doing today is we're going to be doing off leash healing around the neighborhood with the long line on, of course, for safety. Um, and then we're going to be stopping and giving him a break periodically so he can go around and sniff and use the bathroom and have all sorts of fun stuff. And then I'm going to use that as an opportunity to recall him back to me, back into the structured heel, and then put that on repeat. So it's a really good exercise to teach your dogs the difference between work and play. Side on, come. Heel. Good boy. And now we're in our structured heel. We'll walk around a little while like this. Of course, I hold him accountable if he tries to get out, but I'll then find a place which is going to be a nice place to release him and give him some free time which not only clarifies the difference between work and play, but it gives me an opportunity to work on his recall as well. So let's walk a little bit. Actually, right here looks like a good spot. Sit. Good boy, Mr. Snowy Face. Break. If you gotta go, now's the time. So let him have some free time. Let him walk around. Where is he? There he is. There he goes. This is really good exercise because then your dog's distracted when you want to practice your recall. And it's a real life setting. So nothing beats that. And right, give him some time, let him have some fun. And then I'll call him back. Come. Good boy. Heel. So I want to keep using this pattern so, so that he understands how I'm going to be using it um, on a day to day basis. This is very much how I would use it if I lived with him. I would use the structured heel to travel. I would have him sit to stay and wait for me to release him. And then I would release him when I thought it was appropriate. I'd let him have some free time. And then I'd call him back to me and put him back into work to follow me. And I want him to get used to that pattern because that's pretty much the pattern that's going to be used once he goes home. A little click on the e-collar there for veering off. There we go. You can see I clicked on the e-collar there just to slow him down. I don't want him... He needs to know that he can't go past me. He has to be following me, which means he has to see me, which means he has to be behind me. Boy, we're gonna give him another break up here. Sit. Good. Let this car pass by. Break. There you go, buddy. So, let him have some free time, and then I'm going to call him back. And this is just what we do over and over again. Walking by various challenges. We're going to walk into a busier area here in a second. Side on. Come. It's a good boy. Come. A little click on the e-collar there. Heel. Now, I clicked because I had asked twice. That's what we do around here. First one's a freebie. Second one, if I have to ask twice, you know you're going to get a click on the e-collar. And there we go. Now we're back into the structured walk. So that's what we do. That's the practice. Back and forth. Teaching them the difference between work and play. Good boy, bud.